everybody, Nicole Bear here, and in this video we're going to go over facts. So you'll have to forgive me, the computer screen looks really scratchy. I don't know how this video recording is going to come out. I got my trusty notes here. Let's go over some facts about fats. First of all, they're the most energy dense macronutrient, and they're also the primary source of energy for children under 14 years old and a secondary source for adults. Fats help make and balance hormones, and they also help transport some fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, there's another one, and K. Okay, this is a pretty important one. Fats form our brain and our nervous system and our cell membranes. Fats from our diet also provide us two fatty acids that we don't make, which is omega-3s and omega-6. Omega they definitely take longer to break down than carbs do when it comes to breaking down in our stomach and being put into the bloodstream. Fats are either oxidized and used as energy in the skeletal muscles or other tissues, or they're converted back into triglycerides and stored. Triglycerides are formed from three fatty acids connecting with glycerol, and fatty acids are the simplest form of fats. Is this getting too confusing? because I really want to make these videos just simple. You tell me. I really wanted to explain the difference between the two different categories of fats, which is saturated and unsaturated. So saturated fats have a carbon chain that is completely saturated with hydrogen atoms. On the other side, the unsaturated carbon chain has double bonds and it's not completely saturated with hydrogen atoms. Saturated fats are the more solid or semi-solid types, like coconut oil, for example. That's solid normally, and then when you start heating it up, it turns to liquid. The unsaturated fats are more of your vegetable oils, like olive oil. Now, you do get benefits from both kinds of fats, so don't completely take one out of your diet for any reason. Just get a good, healthy balance of different kinds of fats and make sure they're minimally processed. So... I have my trusty list here to help me give you some good examples of some unsaturated fats and some saturated fats that you can choose from because we do need both. I know a lot of people like to say we, we don't want to eat saturated fat, but we do need them. Um, we need them for our horm or herm hormones. Or our hormones. Okay, so some examples of unsaturated fats would be almonds, avocados, egg yolks, um, all almonds already said almonds, cashews <laughs> and olives. And then we have, you know, the seeds, the flax seeds, chia seeds, the oily fish, um, pine seeds and walnuts. So the saturated fats, these are going to be really important for people who don't eat any meat products. They're going to probably need to eat a little bit more of these, which are coconut oil, milk, even dark chocolate. Whole milk is really going to be good and butter. So don't be afraid of getting in those healthy fats. As long as they're from a good source, they're going to be okay for you. Yes, we do need saturated fats. Did you know we need cholesterol to make sex hormones and produce cortisol? Mind blow. So there are three different kinds of omega-3s. There's ALA, DHA, and EPA. The I won't get into too much detail about this. I'm probably boring you guys already. But the best ones for you are the DHA and the EPA. Um, so I have my, my list here helping me give you examples. So for the ALA, they're still good for you, like the flax seeds, the hemp seeds, the chia seeds, walnuts. Um, while they're good for you, they don't easily convert into the DHA or the EPA, which are healthier for you. So you want to make sure that you're getting – direct sources of those two, which would be more like your marine sources. So your fish and your algae is going to be really good. And you can get that regularly or you can supplement. Omega-3s and omega-6s are two fatty acids that are considered unsaturated. Let's go a little bit deeper into those. The benefits of omega-3s are that they dilate the blood vessels, they decrease inflammation, they decrease pain, um, they also help prevent blood clotting. So omega-6s are pretty much the opposite. They increase inflammation. They increase pain. Um, they constrict blood vessels. Um, it sounds like they're not doing good things for your body, but they really are because we need that, that functionality for when we're healing from injuries or when we're recovering from training. So both of them are pretty important. 
Okay, let's talk about the naughty one that we all know about, the trans fats. Trans fats are generally industrial processed fats like margarine. Ugh. There are tons of reasons why these are not good for you. I won't bore you by listing them all now, but let's figure out why the hell we made these trans fats to begin with. Industries took unsaturated fats and heated them up, boiled them until they started bubble, bubbling hydrogen ions, and then this formed a solid hydrogenated trans fat. Why? Pretty simple. This would lead to a longer shelf life. So it was created to preserve products and save money. Really, are you surprised? And while it may preserve shelf life, it sure as hell doesn't preserve our health. Boom, boom. <laughs> Although there are some naturally occurring trans fats in dairy foods, but those are completely different. Use your discretion. Too much of anything could be a bad thing. So the key word here in all of my videos, if you haven't noticed, is balance. Wide variety and balance. Too much? Okay, I know. If you'd like some more information on nutrition, go ahead and check my website out at NicoleBear.com. The link will be below or above. And definitely check out the freebies tab to get some awesome info on how to portion your food, um, different workouts that you can do if you're a super busy mama, all kinds of great stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.